Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to discuss axial shear and bending as concepts and to introduce the axial force, shear force and bending moment diagrams. Okay, so we'll start off by just having a quick look at a problem. We've got here we have a simply supported beam um, which is loaded with a UDL along its entire length L and it also has a force applied in, the, um, in line with the beam at its right end. So if we were to draw this um, as a free body diagram, we end up with something like this. Um, you can check these uh, values um, if you like. It's just they're quite simple the way they've been derived. Um, and basically what we're going to be looking at in this topic is we're, we're looking at internal forces. So as I've said in the previous video, we're interested in turning these external forces, all of these reaction forces and all of the loadings, and which we're interested in looking at what they do to the um, to this beam. And the way we do that is by looking at the axial force, the shear force, and the bending in the beam. So basically, we'll start off by having a quick look at the axial force. Now, the axial force is caused by forces which, are, which act along the beam, so stretching forces or um, compressing forces. So things, so forces that put this beam in tension or compression, we're going to call um, axial forces. And basically, um, the diagram that we get gives us an indication of um, along the length of the beam. So 